you are not missing out on anything. In fact, you will find that nothing changes at home. Nothing changes while you're away except for you and in a good way. Hello, it's Sarah from TravelLiveLearn.com here and Travel Live Learn on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. And if you are returning, we're very grateful. Lovely to see you again. Now we talk a lot on Travel Live Learn about how to travel for longer and how to live and work from anywhere in the world. Now Cooper and I are based in the UK for a third time. We moved back here in February, 2023. We've documented all of that, including bringing our little Westie dog along with us. You can take a look at some of those videos if you're after any advice about the actual move, especially or specifically rather from Australia to the UK and bringing our little Westie with us. So we've got some videos, we'll link them below. We also run a popular Facebook group for digital nomads, house and pet sitters, and the Travel Curious. We'll drop the link here too if you would like to join us if you're not already on there. Now we see a lot of questions come through to us both on the Facebook group and here on the YouTube channel. And one big one that is top of mind at the moment, I don't know if everyone's sort of thinking about it, we're halfway through a year, maybe people are starting to think about what 2024 might look like for them and moving overseas seems top of mind with you know remote work a real possibility for many many people now with employers open to um, the possibility more and more people are thinking about where they might like to go and work from and why not we say we are total advocates for that way of life but obviously you need to be ready to move and live overseas. And so the big question that we're covering today is how do you know when you're ready? How do you know when the time is right? Well, I mean, if you ask me, the time is right now. <laughs> You've just got to do it if you sort of pull to do it. But we do have three pieces of advice to give you about how to know when you are ready to move abroad to live and work. Now, the big one, the, the number one piece of advice, but this feels really basic if you think about it, is that you know you can always go back. Now, in fact, I missed out on opportunities when I was younger. I missed out on opportunities that were presented to me to move overseas because of FOMO. I thought I was missing out. How wrong I was. I should have just gone. You are not missing out on anything. In fact, you will find that nothing changes at home. Nothing changes while you're away except for you and in a good way. So remember, you can always go back and nothing changes. If you are well aware of this fact and you know it and you know that things are not going to change and that you can always go back, then that's one indicator that you are indeed ready to take the leap and move overseas. Now the second indicator that you are ready to move overseas to live and work is that pull you know, the feeling that you want a little bit more. Now you might have everything at home and that's completely fine. You know, that's brilliant. We in fact, would we had a great life before we came back for the third time. We had great jobs, great place to live, family, friends, but we still felt the pull to do something more. The, one of the times we came overseas though, it, it seemed like the right time, you know, things came to their natural end in the cycle of life that we're in. And so coming overseas was a great opportunity and it seemed like the right time. But you know, with many of our big life decisions, there's never the right time. You just have to make the time and make the leap of faith. So if you feel pulled to do this, and even though things might be awesome, just go with that. If, if it's in your gut and in your heart, to take a chance on living abroad and working abroad, just start to make plans to make it happen. Because going back to indicator number one, you can always go back. But if you feel the pull and you want to try something different, you know, the thing that we've learned and seen in our lives and in the lives of our friends and family, tomorrow's not guaranteed. So if you have a dream and a wish, do it while you are healthy and able and willing and resourceful and ready for the adventure. Now, the third indicator that you are ready to take the leap and move overseas to live and work is a really important one. So take note of this. 
you're ready to face change. Now, sometimes change can be uncomfortable, as we all know, but going through change, usually, more often than not, leads you somewhere fantastic. Now, a little story that I tell everyone. The first time we moved to live and work in the UK, it took me six months to settle in. I thought that everything would be the same here, you know, the language is the same, Australia's even part of the Commonwealth, but there was a huge culture shock moving to London that I experienced. And just the whole getting around, registering for, registering rather for a doctor, finding work, finding a new network, that's all, they're all the things you take for granted back home, right? So these things can contribute to feeling uh, overwhelmed and lost and, and honestly you'll sit in a room sometimes and go oh my god what have I done but it honestly leads to great things but the first time the first time we moved to the UK it took me six months to settle in the second time we moved to London by choice so we were making a choice to move back it took me a good year to settle in I can't tell you why um, I don't know it's just you know you face you face this change but I knew that I was going to go through it and so I faced it and went through the tricky times and the difficult times and then all of a sudden you're through it and you're so proud of yourself and so excited about the opportunities that lay ahead. Now this is the third time Cooper and I have moved to the UK and again we've gone through it too. We have felt moments of uncertainty and worry and wondered what on earth we've done. <laughs> um, but we know that that's part of it. So as the third and probably one of the most important indicators, if you know that you're going to face this uncomfortable change and you're prepared to move through it because you know you're heading to a good place, then you are ready to take the leap and to move overseas. Now we talk a lot more about how to travel longer and to live and to work from anywhere in the world. If you would like more of this content or to ask us any questions, you know where to find us, leave a comment. We'd love it if you'd subscribe, like, and hit that little notifications bell if you're watching this on YouTube. We're also on TikTok and Facebook. So come and say hello, let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.